there are two ways to show up online. You can either try to be instantly impressive to the viewer and talking about this, whether you're talking about making a video or on your website, instantly impressive. Oh, you have three seconds to get their attention and to keep their attention. You better be, be really good, uh, you know, whether it's, like I say, on your website or in your videos or in your writings or whatever. You can either be instantly impressive, try to be that way, which is <laughs> exhausting to me. But that's, this is the deep assumption of much of marketing is that you're supposed to be instantly impressive, right? Oh, your copywriting's gotta be super, super good. Your branding has gotta be on point. Uh, your videos gotta be like amazing. I get their attention. You know, I literally saw a video coach, you know, when she started her video, she was like this. And then she said, you see, I'm trying to get your attention. I'm like, wow, really? This is how, okay. So you can, you can either, like there's two paths. You can either try to be instantly impressive or you have to realize that that might be the assumption you're making about what marketing is. You have to be instantly impressive to people or the other path, which I burned out trying to be instantly impressive. The other path I t I'm now taking and have been taking now for eight years is to be consistently authentic. And what I mean by that is I, I believe that each of us has unlimited potential you, you, you were born not with a fixed amount of talent or intelligence and you just have to keep proving that throughout your life. No, you were born with unlimited potential. You don't know, even at this point, you don't know how smart you could really become, how charismatic naturally after practice, how just talented in your industry you could become. You really don't know. And the way that you develop more of that talent and more of that skill is by practicing, is by showing up, experimenting, stretching yourself a little bit every day, practicing. So that's the path that I've dedicated myself to, the path of consistently authentic. I just show up, show up every day. When, when I say show up, I don't literally mean you have to make a video every day. You can. That's, that's how I started with making videos, actually. My first hundred videos were just, I made a video a day. I didn't stop until I got to a hundred. I took the weekends off, but it was five, five videos a week. But it doesn't matter. You, 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 whatever skill you are learning to expand your talent in, if you show up consistently every day, taking the weekends off if you want to, and consistently authentic, meaning you show up saying, I'm not going to try to impress people today. I'm not going to try to attract people and get their attention. No, no, no. I am going to, uh, to, to explore what authentic means to me. And, and to me, I'll share with you what, what that means to me. To be authentic in my business is to be authentically heartfelt in service to two beings, in service to the growth of, of this being right here and in service to the healing and the growth and the uplift of the audience members that are meant for me. So to be authentic to me, consistently authentic means to show up consistently in that heartfelt service to my growth and to your growth. And if I do that, right, if we dedicate ourselves to consistent authenticity, guess what happens? You, naturally, you, you are broadcasting your energy signature out there on a consistent basis. You're just showing up, showing up, showing up, whether it's in your videos, in your writings, in your you know, marketing, in your podcast, in your art, however it is you show up consistently. You're broadcasting your energy signature so more and more of your soul group are finding you in this life instead of having to wait to the next life to find you. <laughs> because your soul group, uh, if you don't believe in soul group, that's okay, I'm not asking you to believe in it. You could use that as an analogy. When I say soul group, if you don't believe in that stuff, just say my ideal audience, my true fans, the ones that are gonna naturally resonate with who I am just without having to pretend, just me, who I am as I show up. There are people who naturally resonate with you some people call that true fans. I'm just going to call that soul group for now. If you consistently show up authentically and just practice, practice, practice showing up, more of that soul group will find you, number one. Number two, you're just going to, through practice and exploration and experimentation, you're going to get better. You're going to get more brave. You're going to get more practice.
practiced in just the technique of showing up, and then you're gonna with that technique uh, under your you know under your belt, you're now gonna be able to express even more fully in that art form, whether that's video, podcast, writings, you know, images, whatever it is you're you're doing, showing up, making web pages, you know. So, uh, and and here's here's what here's the final thing I'll end with. If you keep showing up and, and dedicate yourself to consistently authentic path, one day, well, eventually, more and more, you become authentically impressive to the people who are meant for you. Authentically impressive. You're no longer trying to be impressive, but you just are because of how much practice you've gotten. So don't be afraid of losing people. Don't ever be afraid of losing people. The ones who are meant for you will not leave or they will leave and they'll come back. Dedicate yourself to consistently showing up authentically and this is how you really grow your true fan audience. I hope this is helpful and thank you so much for joining me.